Hi. Um, I'm just making up a, a sort of a stream um, type of, similar to what I did the other day. Um, just some, some buildings. No, nothing in, in particular, just put a chimney there, chimney there, a bit of roof coming down there. Some distance, uh, some trees coming up from from here. Uh, these marks just remind me that I've got to put something in there, but they've got to be in in scale with the rest of it. I don't want them too big because it makes these look too small. And always have a bit of putty rubber hand if you're going to oops, if you're going to draw. Um, use putty rubber when you're using graphite because it, it does actually take the, the graphite off of your picture. But if you use an ordinary rubber you'll find that that will spread the graphite everywhere. So, just some the distance, just a couple of windows, door, sort of a boathouse maybe, and just put some boats in, just, just dragged up the, uh, the grass, the grass bank, some reeds, It's very similar to, to the other one, but it's just showing how I'm, how I like to sort of compose a a picture. Just start to make some sort of design. I'm not copying anything. I'm just working straight into the uh, straight into the paper. That isn't to say I don't use reference material, which I don't use it all the time. But you need you need good reference material. You need to start saving things to use for painting photographs, clippings from magazines. Oh, I'll tell you what I bought today and I left it down in my kitchen when I had some grub. I bought one of those um, articulated mannequins. I've been meaning to buy one for a long, long time. I was in a, a local Wilkinson's, or fairly local. Um, and something like two pound thirty-five. It was so cheap. So th that's a good idea. To, you can put in all sorts of shapes that you like to put in your landscape, and just draw the shape you see. Bend his arms, the legs, the head, the trunk. I'm going to enjoy using that. Um, a bit of a bit of a mess here. Probably a bit, a bit too small for to show up really, but it might not even go in. Right, okay. So that's all I'm oops. That's all I'm going to well, I haven't told you too much. I'm showing you as much of this paper as possible so you get a better idea. Right, there's my ugly mud. Okay, I'll wet the paper all over. Give me a piece of cloth handy. I'll just give it a little bit of a wet. I'm using uh, Fabriano. For the wetting wet. I haven't used my blocking foot for a couple of weeks. Not that I'm stingy, but I, I, I like the wetting wet. I, it suits this, this Fabriano paper. It's £130 from Arts Discount. Or Grantham, it's the same thing. 100 sheet blocks. Right, uh, let that soak in. There's my palette. The usual lemon yellow, raw sienna. Glitter crimson, lights red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, and burnt sienna. Burnt sienna being a colour that I particularly like. So I'll just give that a little bit of a clean off. I was going to do a painting yesterday. I've just changed my network supplier, my internet supplier, to a utility warehouse. I don't think I'm going to get quite such a fast upload to YouTube and if that's the case uh, I might have to upload at night but it doesn't really matter. 
Okay, so I, uh, I'll uh, put a bit of uh, bit of Rossiana in there. Just just warm, just warm things up a bit. Put in the water. We'll all blend, blend away. Add in have a piece of cloth handy to take off the excess moisture. No, I won't sweat. Let's go in with a bit of sky, a bit of blue. Let's put a bit of red in there as well. Just a touch of a blush of of red. Okay. Now I'm going to put a bit of clouds in there, just a little light cloud, red and blue. Let's see what happens when we've got a bit of a, bit of a rogue hair there somewhere. Put in the water like what's in the sky. Right, I'm just going to take off the excess moisture off of that. Right, I'm going to dry that off now. It's a nice gentle sky, a bit like today, it's, uh, it's a lovely day now, it wasn't, a bit on the cold side, or cold side, it was a bit of a misty cold start but it's all cleared up and it's really nice now. So let's put in a bit of background, a bit, bit of blue, oh, if you see any rogue hairs pull, pull them out of here. Some of that to soak up some of the uh, background water. I'm going to put another colour in there along there. So I want to dry that. Well, a little bit anyway. So a slightly darker colour. Well, it doesn't have to be that straight because these are sort of distant trees. And I'll put some banks, some nice banks under that. Going down here slightly. Right, let's have a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of, a bit of raw sienna. So I've got a little bit of light, uh, some unpainted 
paper there. And we'll put in a bit of a darker green in here. Try to establish a, a bank, a pleasing, pleasing shape. A bit of burnt sienna in there as well. Bring them nice and clean. Mixing burnt sienna with the lemon yellow for warmer. Now let's get some dark. Dark's in there. This is starting the ref bit of reflection. Okay, and we'll, we'll put some heavier greens over here on top of that. Now I want some nice rich darks there, blue, grey, sienna. Right, these are the reflections. Shadow in the green. Right, a bit of, bit of reflections in the We'll let that go for a minute. I'm going to do some. I'm going to use another brush for the trees behind the buildings. We we'll use this number ten. And I want it quite lo loose and bluish. So let's just. A bit warm in there. Right, and I can detail into that in a minute. <coughs> now, paper's still growing. Give it another re clip. That's a tree there that will go into here. That's a little bit muddy really. And I'm going to just um, stroke in some greeny blue 
one of these. more glue in there behind give an impression of, of there being some foliage behind uh, and that will, they will come down to here so I'll, uh, I'll let that I'll give that a little dry we need to do some more detail in this That may be a little more trees along this bank coming across here. That's just Right, now we'll do a little bit of uh, work on the building. <coughs> um, I'll find my brush. Uh, number six brush. Nice, nice uh, sienna roof. And a little touch of red. But quite loose. Now, I've gone over the edge of that um, little building there, so I'm just going to lift that out. Just a bit of clean water and just wet it and just dab it out, spread it out. So this is this is in the shadow. As will that be? Leave that bit white. And when that dries, I could just put in some gutters and stuff. Right, we got go into these uh, trees and start building up some sort of shapes of branches, a bit of ivy and stuff. Uh, we'll just And now we're justifying these shapes that I dry brushed in. Right, that's all we need. Just maybe a slightly darker. One or two bits. <coughs> right, 
that's really, that's really dry, with very little detail in these. Just a slightly darker mix of what I've used, a bit of green and blue, a bit of yellow and blue. Um, Not very light. Just to justify those trees being there. Right, we'll, we'll uh, put a greeny bluey bank or Don't want any paints going in that. Like the stones, and then we'll do some here. Oh, that's a bit light. I'm using green for my trees, for my chunks. using very thin watercolour, very dilute for this. I want it faint in the background. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, right, now we're going to come into these and they're coming up from here now. So, you know, oops, I'll mix some burnt sienna, burnt sienna. Bit of blue, bit of yellow, but quite dark, well dark about it. So these are going to come up from here. Very similar to what I did yesterday, or oh, the day before yesterday. Let's just I did this one, I did try to do this yesterday, but what happened was I made those much darker and, and I dry brushed them and these I did like that and I had two different techniques. So the thing to watch out for is keep the techniques that you're using, even that's not quite right, similar throughout the painting, otherwise you'll end up with several different paintings, all painted in a different style. I'll anchor those in a minute and have more blue now. Just using the three primaries there. Uh, nice blue now. This hopefully will, will take these trees on the edge there into the background. Now I'll just go back to the to here. Well just my trees in reality don't exist. Now so now I want to put in Just some nice greeny 
Ready, greeny, blue, lemon yellow. Alright, that's coming to light there. So. Oh, let's just do some some more reflections on that. Just dragging down what I put above. Okay. Well, it's just a nice dark. Resorting to the speed now. or bluey greeny oh, nice and limpid ah, too much lag. Just showing a few loose ripples. <coughs> right now, while that's sorting itself out, I'm going to just put in some. <coughs> <coughs> Just showing some edge of the tiles come down there. Dark in there for windows. Oh, that a, uh, that's probably too early to do that. That's, uh, okay, I'm not too displeased with that. It's not a great painting, but it's showing various planes going into the distance. That should have been a bit heavier then. Well, that, that's bled, bled into the surrounding. I shouldn't have done that. But there are bits that I quite like. All this has gone very limpid. Uh, not too overpainted. And I put the blue in as a good shadow, a good reflection colour with sky and what's, what's above it. And, and if I want to just add a bit more to the reflections, I can Put a nice warm and
rough it up a bit. Okay, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to sign it. It's a very, very simple one. I don't feel like doing difficult today. I really want to see how fast this uploads with my new provider. Right, so I'll put that in a, in a mount. But before I do, I'll show you what I did the other, the other side and gave up. Because, look, I did, I was doing, started in these buildings, I put this in nice and heavy, but I, I put this in all loose and I started to stipple over it to try to bring it more in line with that. And in the end, I just gave up and turned it over. So, it was, a, it was a pity, but I don't like uh, wasting my time. But let's just hold that there. And put that, oh, that on there. Well, that's that's quite a clean, refreshing watercolour. Let's uh, come in a bit with that. Right, I've I've got my tripod up as high as I can get it, so as I can. I'm going to go back to a webcam, I think, and. Put it on a piece of wood, to change a piece of wood with like a boom, so that I can get the uh, the, 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 the webcam in like overhead next to my right ear, like I used to. But I want I want a better webcam. I want one with that does reasonable reproduction, obviously, but has a zoom on it as well, so I can zoom in and do do things with it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.